Hey everybody, Norm over here, and it is ES Wednesday, Woo! And wacky ES Wednesday, <laughs> and I want to remind you guys about the uh, signed guitar that Joe Bonamassa signed, the BB King Epiphone Lucille, really cool guitar, Joe just played it, sounded great. Um, it's a cool piece of memorabilia now, and all the money goes to the homeless, to the Midnight Mission, my favorite charity, and Joe's favorite charity, and or one of Joe's favorite charities, because he has the Keeping the Blues Alive Foundation, which gives some money to the uh, Midnight Mission, and it was Tom Petty's favorite charity as well. So, um, you know, it's going to a great cause, 100% goes to them, so please be generous. And also, the Ali and AJ guitar, <laughs> You're <Hello>. answering it? <laughs> oh, that's right. No worries. So, did you want to do that or? <laughs> Making deals. We're back. Sorry for the phone call. This happens to me all day long. People wonder why I'm goofy. That's why I'm goofy. Uh, you were I could talking be a about character the... for Disney. Goofy. Goofy <laughs> Norm. Anyhow. Well, you're talking about the Ali and AJ. That's oh, oh yeah. Ali and AJ, too. You know, they signed a guitar um, for the Midnight Mission as well. Guys, please be generous. We're trying to really do something good here. We're trying to help some people that are in need. It's something that means a lot to me. You know, the Midnight Mission, as I said, means a lot to, meant a lot to Tom Petty, means a lot to Joe Bonamassa, means a lot to Richie Sambora. Uh, all our people that have played for the Midnight Mission and stuff realize how much good they do. So we want to uh, really do what we can for them. Our congratulations to David Prentice, who's now the new president of the Midnight Mission, and our, our dear friend, Georgia Berkovich, who is like the heart and soul of the Midnight Mission, has done so much for the homeless. We love her. Anyhow, we got something really cool for you today, so check it out. It is Wacky Wednesday, yes Wednesday. Oh, and hi, and Lemo. Hi. Oh, but, oh, yeah, Lemo. What are you doing over here? I am here for emotional support. Oh, thank you. I did I'm goofy. All right. Well, anyhow, so this is it's a brown case. You like the case? Yes. How about the guitar? Oh, man. All right. So this is a blonde dot neck 59 long pick guard uh, ES335 in blonde, which is super, super rare. Um, this guitar has got a couple little things that you need to know about, but it's one of the rarest guitars and uh, Just want to tell you there's a couple wires that have been changed in there And you know we open up the guitars to examine them and see what has been done So we try to be as uh, transparent as we can on anything um, this guitar, I believe these are aged repro tuners, and uh, these are PAFs. But when we were opening it, what we did discover is the screws underneath are gold. So this is nickel, and it looks like the top is nickel. I'm not sure what the explanation is for that. It could have been from the factory where they sanded them uh, on top and sanded the gold off, or the pickups may have been changed with other PAFs. These are real PAFs that are in the guitar. It sounds incredible, but we want to you know, be completely transparent. Got the custom-made plaque covering the uh, uh, stop tailpiece holes. Um, this guitar is... Ooh. Really, really cool. Just as beautiful as it gets. I'm weak for blonde guitars. Uh, Michael? Yeah, that's the kind. This thing is I mean, sick. let alone it also has the Bigsby on there. Too. Yeah, and if you know how to work the Bigsby, the Bigsby can be a really cool thing. So um, Works great with the feedback, too. Yes, it Because you get does. that sound, and then you kind of dip it down with that bar. And, it, and since it's a 335, it, it will fill up a little bit. Not like crazy you can control that feedback and use it as an instrument you so, don't want to do complete dive bombs but they're really effective yeah um, back nice in the motion. day i mean people were using a lot of flat rounds and heavy strings so the big speed was just more for vibrato but now uh people are doing so much so much more with uh you know whammy bars and stuff like that so anyhow this thing is deadly cool um a couple issues but man go find another blonde dot you know with Bigsby, custom-made black, this thing is really cool. 
Um, this is, I'm selling it for a friend, so um, I think somebody's going to have a, a really cool guitar. Uh, Michael, let's take it out let's there and it, show Norm. us what, what to do with this guitar. Let's do it. Thank you, Norm. <laughs> call me Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> You're Goofy number two right here. Yeah, yeah. Here's Goofy. Here is the poster child. <laughs> <laughs> We're up front with the 1959 Gibson ES335 with a Bigsby in blonde. Are you kidding me? Great guitar, and uh, yeah, haven't played one of these in a long, long time. Uh, we're going through a Fender Super Reverb, starting off on that neck pickup. Let's see what we get. both pickups together, see what we get.
1959 Gibson ES-335 with a Bigsby and Blonde, an ultimate guitar. You can check them all out at normanturguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. Cool.